This week marks the end of the 2010 fall semester and finals are quickly approaching. Studying is in full swing as students all across the campus finish up those last minute projects and essays. Final exams will take place December 13th through the 16th. Sarah Grace Buckley is a freshman at Sanford preparing to take her first real college exam. I'm really nervous because I've never really had a college final before and I just really hope I do well on it and I guess balancing my time and stuff and making sure I'm able to study enough for each exam but I'm a little worried about them and stressed but I think I'll be able to get through it. Sanford's campus offers a wide variety of study areas and there will be even more space available throughout exam week. Harry's Coffee House, located in the University Center, is a popular spot for a peaceful study environment. The food court is also a common scene for students, but has proven to be more social than productive. I actually like to take the same approach that uh, we Pie Caps take um, for step singing. You know, we don't practice at all. And uh, for some reason, we still win. I mean, so, you know, I take that approach in the finals and I don't study at all and I still pass. So, whatever works, you know. Undoubtedly, the most popular place to study is the Harwell Goodwin Davis Library. All three floors of the library provide tables, couches, study rooms, and desk cubbies. So whether you're writing a paper, studying for Spanish, or just passing the time with your friends, the library supplies several different study environments on each floor. Group sessions are welcomed and study rooms always fill up quickly. Tara White is a library assistant and enjoys working during the craziness of exams. It's crazy during finals. Um, there's not an empty table anywhere. Um, people are always talking and just, you almost can't really do any work. It's more of a social setting, which is fun though, you know, especially for freshmen. Um, during exams, the library will be open from 7.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Due to the social distractions in the library, some students prefer the comfort of their own dorm room. I prefer studying in my dorm room in the sorority house because it's time, it's my area. The library, sometimes there's just too many people in there and I get just distracted talking to them. And so it's good just to get in my own room and be able to shut the door and get away from everyone. While studying, it's important to avoid common distractions like Facebook and Twitter. However, study breaks are a useful way to refuel and energize for more studying. The food court will be open 24 hours for a midnight snack. Looking back, upperclassmen give some advice for freshmen going into finals. Fresh, I would tell freshmen to, um, to not procrastinate and to study ahead of time because even though freshman year you can get by without studying too much, as you get older you can't do that and junior year and senior year will definitely catch up to you and your study habits. So. Sleep because you're not going to do well if you're exhausted and just to keep everything, keep your priorities in line even though it is finals week is that these last tests, they could kill your grade. So if you're banking on not doing well in the final then that could end up hurting you in the end. So finals are just as important as everything else. Time management because I'm a perfect example of what not to do or I was at least my freshman year, and uh, that was my biggest thing. I didn't know how to manage my time, so if you manage your time well and study, you'll be fine. During exams, it is crucial to get plenty of sleep and eat healthy. Christmas break is just a few days away, so be sure to finish strong and good luck on finals. Reporting with the Sanford News Network, I'm August Ray.